In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use your Native Instruments drummer libraries as multi-out kits in your DAW so you can apply your own VSTs or audio units to each individual kit piece. The first thing you need to do is determine the amount of outputs you want in your kit. So in my case, I'm going to put all of my toms on one channel. The kick, snare, hi-hat will be separate outputs as well as the percussions, uh, the overhead stereo, the overhead room, and the overhead mono. I'm going to send all of these to their own stereo output. So the first step is set your outputs and you need to set them before you load your drummer. Otherwise your outputs would not reflect what's available. I'm going to go with 10 channels. All right, that's going to include all the channels described that you see here. To do that, I'm going to use the output panel here. If you don't know where your output panel is, just go to the top, select this window icon and make sure your outputs are selected. All right, moving forward, let's hit this plus button here on the output panel. Let's choose, in this case, 10 outputs. All right, number of channels per output will remain two. We're going to start with the contact stereo one or the first channel available. All right, ascending output assignment, we'll leave that selected. If it's not selected, do select it. We'll delete existing channels. And that's looking about good. So I'll hit OK. And now we see our 10 channels. Now for this to reflect in your drummer, you'll have to reload it. So your master and your stereo one will be the same channel. We are not going to use these for the kit pieces. These will, will be reserved for the master channel itself. You'll understand what I mean later. So for the kick, we'll start with channel two. And then we'll increment as we go. The snare, channel three. Hi-hat, channel four. The toms I'm gonna have on the same channel. So I'm gonna set them all to channel five. Remember, you can still pan your toms from within this interface. Moving on to the percussions. Now, to the overhead mics, stereo. room and then mono and then we're all set be sure to check you didn't make any mistakes all right the next step we'll make some room on the screen remove the browser we're going to create the corresponding outputs in ableton live so you can use a external instrument, or in this case, we'll use an audio track. We'll select the input from contact, and then the first channel will be the kick. And then we'll set it to end. All right, this way it's always on when we have our MIDI track selected. All right, now we'll duplicate that. We'll choose the next output. Snare. We'll duplicate that. Next output would be the hi hats. We'll duplicate that. And we'll continue to match. Duplicate that. After the toms, we had the oh, there it goes. Tamarine. After the tamarine, we have some questions there. We 
duplicate that. Next, we have our overheads. So we want to use our contact library to keep track of this. So while we're at it, let's name what we have here so far. We have kick, snare, hat, toms, uh, tamarine, wood block. Now the next things we're looking for are the overhead stereo. I'll duplicate this. We're looking for the room. And then we're looking for the overhead mono. Now the best way to find these is to use the contact library, solo those parts. So in this case, we're looking for overhead stereo. And now as we're playing it, we're going to go to the input setting for the overhead stereo, and there we go. All right, let's try that for room. And finally, overhead mono. Now, the reason why you hear that on the plugin track is because this send here goes back to the master and reverb. So you can turn this down. And that's pretty much it. So we've set the outputs for contact to the door. We set the outputs for the individual kit pieces. The next thing we need to do is make this a recallable preset so we don't have to do this every time. So in this case, I'm just going to tidy up this a bit. I'm going to shrink these channels down and then I'm going to call this maybe uh, MIDI underscore verb because the reverb of the contact instrument is going to that channel as well as receiving the MIDI. Unsolo your tracks. Set your MIDI track monitor to auto again and your preset is ready to go. Now you'll want to save this as a preset that you can recall at any time. So in this case, I'll just drag it over into my user library. And just like that, it's done. So you can apply this with the other drummer kits as well, whether it be the 80s kit, the 70s kit, the modern session kit, whichever. Happy drumming.